Okay, in this lab exercise, we're going to be checking the inside diameter of this bearing race. It's off of a, of a train rail car. Uh, so we're going to just check right across this inside diameter. There are several inside mics. We're going to be using the Starrett uh, interchangeable uh, rod type. This is the anvil. These are the rods. Um, the other type that we've seen in our other videos is the inside micrometer one jaw which reads backwards, this reads like a normal mic. Now the micrometer head on this, it only goes to a half inch. Okay, so be aware of that and be very careful of that. So maximum opening on this is two inches. So we want to be careful. So we'll choose a rod that looks about the right size. We'll tighten it up and we see that that's way too small and we'll take the next rod size and we'll see that that's way too big. So what we need to do is uses a half inch spacer. Okay, so we put our half inch spacer on it. We put our four to five inch rod. And now we're gonna check the inside of our race, of our bearing race here. Okay, so we're just gonna slowly open it until we move around this way. And you can see that I'm moving left and right, up and down. I want to try to keep it as horizontal as possible. Now I'm going to open this counterclockwise until it got a little bit snug. Right about there. Looks very, very good. Okay, we've got just a little bit of resistance. Okay, that looks good. So the way we read this we see our rod is four to five inches, so we have four inches to start with, start on the low side. We have a half inch spacer, that's 0 .500, and our micrometer head reads 0 .250. There's the two, and we're at the notch right of past that, which is a graduation. Uh, we're at the graduation right of past the 200,000, so it's 225,000. So when we add it all together, we get four inches, 0 .500, 0 .250, uh, .225, so we get four inches, five, six, seven hundred and twenty-five thousand. So it's four inches, seven hundred and twenty-five thousandths. That's how we read that. So that's the diameter of the inside of this ring by using the interchangeable spindle um, stair micrometer. Okay, good luck with that lab, and if you have questions, again, let me know.